The topic is the minority community and finance in the AIDS struggle. Of course, we have with us the executive director of Streetworks, uh, Mr. Ron Crowder. Of course, Mr. Crowder, uh, let's use the uh, last segment of uh, this particular uh, show today to uh, get some directions in terms of uh, what can be done and what should be done. Uh, and I say that because uh, you've been involved in this struggle for a long time. And you've been with us on a number of occasions. And each time we come back and you talk about how uh, the uh, situation is becoming more critical and et cetera, and how we need more uh, financial support. And let's talk about it from uh, your <coughs> perspective. Well, Dr. Haney, I don't want to minimize the fact that we are getting uh, local uh, government support as well as a little fellow federal support. But what I am saying is, once again, I want to reiterate the fact that African Americans account for about three quarter percent of all new HIV infections. But African Americans are not supporting mm -hmm. financially the fight of this epidemic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we do free HIV testing, mm -hmm. we do HIV prevention, we do uh, direct care services mm -hmm. to people who are living with HIV. We provide emergency financial mm -hmm. assistance to those people who are too sick to work. We mm -hmm. pay their rent, mm -hmm. we pay their utility bills. We do a lot of work, mm -hmm. but the minority community which is a recipient of most, many, much of this work. 90% of mm -hmm. the people that we serve mm -hmm. are the recipients of these services. Mm -hmm. And they have family members, uh, church members, mm -hmm. who are not adequately, mm -hmm. I would say adequately, I'm not saying everybody, mm -hmm. supporting the mission of our work. Mm -hmm. And they can do that by making donations mm -hmm. to street works who are located at you can make the check out to street works uh, we are part of united way mm -hmm. if they give to united way on their job they can designate their money to mm -hmm. street works mm -hmm. there's a number of ways i want to give my telephone number out where people can call and find out how to make those donations if they want to do that mm -hmm. to uh 615 Two five nine seven six seven six. If it's in the form of a check, you make that check mm -hmm. out to Street Works. We will give out my addresses. So mm -hmm. the mailing address is too long. The, mm -hmm. It's Chickamauga mm -hmm. Avenue, and mm -hmm. that's a long way to spell it. So you can call the office, mm -hmm. uh, and we will tell you how to do that. Mm -hmm. We are in the process now of updating our website where they can make those donations mm -hmm. online. And if you know anything now, mm -hmm. websites do have secure. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a sites where you can make donations mm -hmm. online and we'll probably go through the um, the uh, PayPal or mm -hmm. whatever that uh, mm -hmm. whatever that agency is that they, they, uh, mm -hmm. receives those donations. And, and, and so what you're saying is that you are willing, uh, Ms. Crowder, to accept I I uh, any amount of money. That well, sure, you'd like <laughs> to have some, some nice pieces of money, <laughs> but, but anything, any kind of financial resources taken from a large number of people Yes. Help you yes. By well, m one of my one of my one of my sayings is, we take rolling money as mm -hmm. as well as it's folding money. money. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dr. Haney, as you know, there are some very large African American churches in this city. Mm -hmm. I won't go as far as to name them, but mm -hmm. they know who they are. Mm -hmm. Those churches can do a concerted effort and make a donation mm -hmm. because you know and I know. One in 50 African-American men are infected with HIV mm. in this city. Mm -hmm. One in 160 mm -hmm. African-American women mm -hmm. is infected with HIV. So we know some of these mega churches in Nashville mm -hmm. do the math. Mm -hmm. You got 300 men, that's six of them sitting in your pews on mm -hmm. Sunday morning mm -hmm. that's HIV infected that don't even feel mm -hmm. that they can disclose their okay. status mm -hmm. uh, and quite naturally those people are receiving services mm -hmm. from somewhere okay uh -huh. even though they might not tell people uh, in, in, they, the church, in, they, in the church exactly yes. what the situation is yes. but monday morning when it comes time for them to uh receive uh, support except you're not against the support that they are receiving you're no, simply no, saying that uh, even not. the people within these churches uh, uh, need support. Dr. Haney, and I, I just got to 
the other thing that I just want to touch on just for one second here is, again, no one deserves HIV. Mm -hmm. We've got to quit treating people with HIV mm -hmm. like they got to play it mm -hmm. because it's only by God's grace and mercy mm -hmm. that it all, mm -hmm. we know how HIV is transmitted. Mm -hmm. Now, you think if you put yourself as, at risk, you too could have HIV because mm -hmm. you definitely probably, mm -hmm. if you over mm -hmm. 17 probably, mm -hmm. they probably yeah, have they put, uh -huh. they put themselves mm -hmm. at risk at least one time. Mm -hmm. It's only through God's grace and mercy mm -hmm. that they are not HIV infected. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and a lot of folks, uh, from what we understand, uh, 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 that, that a large number of folks who don't know that they are infected, that's a growing number. Is, is yes. that? And, and, and I'm glad you said that, Dr. Hayne. There's only one way someone can find out if they're HIV infected, mm -hmm. and that's take an HIV test. And we at Streetworks, we, we have uh, implemented what we call rapid testing. Mm -hmm. So a person can come into our office, mm -hmm. and by the time they leave the office, mm -hmm. they will know their HIV status. Mm -hmm. So it ain't no, you go take the test, come back mm -hmm. in two okay. weeks. Uh -huh. Oh, no. When you leave my office, if you come in my office, mm -hmm we will have your results before mm -hmm. you leave out of the office. Mm -hmm. And that's not a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Of course, we would like for it to be at least 30 to 40 minutes. It's mm -hmm. a 20-minute rapid test. But we want to do some pre-test counseling as, as well as mm -hmm. we want to do post-test counseling after we give them their results, be they negative or positive. Mm -hmm. We want to mm -hmm. counsel them, especially if they are negative. Mm -hmm. We want to counsel them in how to to stay negative mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and and uh, reduce their risk of mm -hmm. uh, of acquiring HIV. I infection. would imagine that doing what you're doing, you also run across uh, uh, maybe a very, very small number of individuals who really don't want to know their status. I, I mean, uh, wh wh how, how do you well, deal with individuals? Uh, well, Dr. Haney, HIV in this day and age, and with the modern uh, uh, advances in HIV, mm -hmm. it's almost like uh, a chronic illness, like diabetes. You take mm -hmm. care of yourself, chances are you'll live forever. Mm -hmm. it, the, the, the fact that a person don't want to know mm -hmm. doesn't change the fact whether they have it or not, and mm -hmm. if they have it, they would they should want to know mm -hmm. because they don't want to transmit it mm -hmm. to anyone mm -hmm. else not only that early detection and early treatment mm -hmm. is the way to go mm -hmm. that's where mm -hmm. we want to go and and they can't be uh, they can't be detected or treated unless you mm -hmm. unless they do that test unless they know mm -hmm. that they have it uh, unless they know that they have it uh -huh. now if they got it you I'm like this, Dr. Haney. If a person has it, they ought to want to know mm -hmm. because that way they can take better care of themselves and that way they won't be transmitting the virus mm -hmm. to their other loved ones. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, but we do run into that a lot. People saying, you know, if I got it, I don't want to know. I ain't going to do nothing but worry myself. Well, mm -hmm. HIV ain't like it was in 81. Mm -hmm. They still living in 1981 mm -hmm. when HIV was a death sentence. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. HIV is almost like diabetes. Now, mm -hmm. you know you take your insulin, mm -hmm. you can live forever. Proper, proper diet, mm -hmm. proper exercise, good taking good care of yourself, you can live forever. Same way with mm -hmm. HIV now. Well, you know, now, now, over the last minute and a half, what about trials? I mean, I mean, is well, there a, some kind of virus? I mean, something that we can do through these trials? To yes, uh, 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 HIV vaccine trials are just like any other trials. Right now, we don't have a vaccine. But the problem with, with vaccine trials is it's hard to get minorities mm -hmm. to participate in the trials because mm -hmm. of Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. But if they don't participate, when they find a vaccine, mm -hmm. They're going to work on the people mm -hmm. who, who, who participated, participated in the uh -huh. trial. They need all types of people mm -hmm. to participate in the, in the trial. And just as the minority 
community that's not mm. stepping up to the plate in the finances, they're not stepping up to the plate in the uh, uh, volunteer for this vaccine. And product. you cannot get HIV mm -hmm. from participating in a in vaccine, vaccine trial. trial. Oh. Let me just be real clear <laughs> okay, about that. Okay, very good. And of course, it's crowded. Uh, let me uh, thank you over the last uh, few seconds that we have here for bringing us that excellent information and to uh, bring the kind of passion that you generally bring in reference to this, uh, this topic. And I'm sure that uh, people are aware of uh, the situation. And now, as you say, the ball is really in their court. Let me get my mm -hmm. telephone number one, one right more quick. time. 259-7676. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of comments. Thank you and good morning.